What's going on guys? Today I've been messing around with the shop vac. Uh, it's borrowed from a friend of mine. And when I was using it, I noticed that everything I vacuumed up would get shot right out of the back of the vacuum. And uh, in addition to that, it, the suction wasn't all that strong. It wasn't very powerful. So I'm gonna be doing some maintenance here on it. What I suspect has happened is I believe that the filter has actually gotten detached from the vacuum cleaner uh, motor assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see looking down inside here. So yeah, I can see there's supposed to be a filter that's attached to the uh, intake of the motor. And if we look down inside of the uh, vacuum cleaner, there's our uh, filter right here. So that should actually be sitting right there. And it looks like there's a cap here as well. So this cap is supposed to lock this in position. So uh, what I'm actually gonna do, this filter is so dirty anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the filter and uh, we'll go from there. So our filter is disgusting. What I'm gonna do is use a hose and gonna apply the pressure from the inside out. See how much that gets off. I'll go and rinse it from the outside as well, you know. Some manufacturers, they, uh, they explicitly tell you not to clean the filter. Some will even tell you definitely do not use a hose. And a lot of shop vacs as well, they recommend that you remove the filter before you vacuum up anything that's wet. I've had good luck with cleaning out filters with the hose. The most important aspect of it though, is to make sure that the filter dries completely before you reinstall it into your vacuum cleaner. And I've got a little trick here for that that I'll show you in just a little bit. So I've got my air filter about as clean as it's gonna get. If I just go ahead and reinstall the wet filter into the shop vac, there's a good chance that it's gonna get moldy and nasty, and it could even rot apart. So what I'm gonna do is actually just set it over here outside on our uh, AC, uh, the evaporator fan. So uh, this fan's gonna be running pretty much nonstop because our AC's on full blast and that's gonna dry that filter right out. And uh, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and empty out the shop vac and clean the inside of that out as well. So I've emptied out the shop vac. It's still pretty dusty in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hose out the inside as well. I don't want all this dust to get sucked up into my freshly cleaned filter. A little bit of pressure does good. And what's cool as well is most shop vacs have a drain here. So you can actually open that up and just allow it to drain out through the bottom. I'll go ahead and hose off the outside as well. So yeah, waiting on that to dry. And in the meantime, just gonna keep checking on this. Filter's getting pretty dry already. So my filter's been here a while now. I've been periodically rotating it to allow it to uh, get, hair, get hit from the uh, wind from different sides. And it's dry now. So we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this. So first step is to get this filter, get, get it back on the motor here. And we install this locking piece here. So it turns to the right to lock. And then finally, we just click this back on to the, um, to the bucket part. 
So yeah. It's all serviced, ready to rock. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks about servicing uh, shop vacs.